How does stress affect libido? Is it normal to experience pain during sexual intercourse? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Stress can affect libido in different ways. For some people, stress can increase sexual desire as a form of relief, while for others, it can decrease desire. Balance is important for a healthy sex life. It is not normal to experience persistent pain during sexual intercourse. Pain during sex can be a sign of a medical or other issue, such as an infection, vaginal dryness, or an underlying medical condition. If pain is experienced, it is important to seek medical help. Adventure and free spirit. Some women are attracted to men who are adventurous and willing to try new things. Love and sexual desire. Romantic love and sexual desire are two different aspects of a relationship. While love focuses on emotional connection, sexual desire involves physical attraction. Male anorgasmia, anorgasmia, the difficulty in reaching orgasm, can also affect some men. It can be caused by emotional or physical factors and may be treated with sexual therapy. Benefits of self-exploration, sexual self-exploration or masturbation, is a healthy way to learn about one's body and discover what brings pleasure. It can also help relieve stress and improve sexual function. Brain orgasm. Mental and emotional stimulation can play a crucial role in the female orgasm. Emotional connection and mental excitement are important factors for many women. Cervical orgasm. Some women report experiencing cervical orgasms, which feel deeper and may last longer than clitoral orgasms. Common practice. Despite associated stigmas, anal sex is a common sexual practice and can be enjoyed by many couples as an additional form of intimacy. Tickling and sex. Tickling can play an unusual role in sexual arousal. Some people find that stimulation of certain erogenous zones can induce both tickling and pleasure simultaneously. Kink culture, BDSM, bondage, discipline, dominance, submission, sadism, and masochism is a sexual subculture involving consensual erotic practices and games. For many, BDSM is a way to explore fantasies and boundaries. Delayed orgasm. Some men may experience what is known as delayed orgasm, where they reach orgasm after a prolonged period of stimulation. It can be a satisfying experience for some, but frustrating for others. Late sexual awakening. Some individuals experience a late sexual awakening in adulthood, meaning they develop a heightened interest in sexuality after years of little or no interest. Erectile dysfunction is not exclusive to older men. A significant number of young men may also experience occasional erection issues, usually related to stress, anxiety, or psychological factors. Diversity of fantasies. Each person has unique sexual fantasies. Some are attracted to the idea of threesomes, while others may fantasize about domination or submission scenarios. Diversity of practices. Human sexuality is incredibly diverse and in many cases, unique. From the most conventional practices to the most alternative, people can find pleasure and satisfaction in very different ways. Respecting sexual diversity is essential. The effect of meditation, meditation, and mindful practices can enhance sexual life by reducing stress and increasing mind-body connection. These practices can help people be more present during sex and enjoy it more fully. Stress's effect on fertility, chronic stress, can have a negative impact on fertility in both men and women. Stress can affect sex hormones and reduce the ability to conceive. Emotional intimacy. 
The ability to establish a deep emotional connection and express genuine love and affection is often considered attractive. Eroticism in literature, erotic literature, has been an integral part of writing throughout history. Famous authors like Anais Nin, Henry Miller, and E.L. James have contributed to this literary genre. Evolution of Pornography Pornography has evolved significantly with the advent of the internet. It is now instantly accessible and offers a wide variety of content. Sexual fantasies are a normal part of human sexuality. They can range from romantic situations to bolder and more experimental encounters. Clearhead phenomenon. After orgasm, some people experience a sense of mental clarity, known as the clear head phenomenon. This may be due to the release of endorphins and stress relief. Fetishes are atypical sexual interests, including a wide range of objects, body parts, or situations. Fetishes are common and can be a healthy part of a person's sexual life if approached consensually and safely. Sex phobia. Genophobia is the extreme fear or aversion to sex. It can be debilitating and is often related to past traumatic experiences. Sexual therapy and counseling can be helpful in overcoming this phobia. Health and well-being. Orgasms have health benefits, such as stress reduction, strengthening the immune system, releasing endorphins, happiness hormones, and relieving pain. They can also improve sleep quality. History of condoms. Condoms have a long history dating back to ancient Rome, where they were made from animal intestines. Today, modern condoms are made of latex or polyurethane and are an effective means of protecting against STIs and unwanted pregnancies. The importance of touch, physical contact, such as hugs and massages, releases oxytocin, the love hormone, promoting emotional bonding and intimacy in relationships. Influence of alcohol on sex, alcohol can affect sexual function in various ways. While it may lower inhibitions, excessive alcohol can hinder erection in men and arousal in women. Sexual role-playing involves taking on characters or erotic scenarios during sexual activity. It can be a fun way to explore fantasies and desires. Sexual toys in antiquity. Sexual toys have a long history. Ancient dildos and vibrators dating back thousands of years have been found in different cultures. Right side and left side. Some research suggests that people have preferences for the right or left side during intercourse, although the reason behind these preferences remains a mystery. Menopause and sexuality. Menopause can impact women's sexuality, causing symptoms like vaginal dryness and changes in sexual desire. Communication with a partner and medical attention can help address these changes. Multiple orgasms. Unlike men, many women can have multiple orgasms in a single sexual session without a refractory period. This means they can have several orgasms in succession without needing a break. Multiple orgasms. While more common in women, some men can train themselves to experience multiple orgasms without the traditional refractory period. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.